welcome to Garrock Farms. Today we got a good one for you. I'm gonna be working on those gravity wagons that I uh, pulled home this last fall. There's definitely some things we gotta fix on them, some things we gotta improve, and there's a lot of decisions that we gotta make today on, on what parts we're gonna save, what parts we're gonna scrap, what parts we need to buy. So we're gonna pull this feed wagon here, our dump wagon out with the 7405, unhook that in the other shed and then go grab those wagons and pull them in here right next to the tools in our main heated shop here. So super cold day today, so it's a decent day to work in the shop. I'm gonna throw the camera outside here and I want you guys to pay attention to all the, the water vapor freezing and you know the mist as we open the shop door here. And I think it's a, it's a good gauge to show how, uh, how cold it really is today. I think we're negative 10 negative 15, it's pretty cold today. and grab them wagons and pull one inside it's it is cold out here pin in draw bars free now just to break the tires loose here with the tractor hopefully we don't break anything hopefully everything uh, just gives way
Alrighty, we finally got the box inside after uh, breaking it loose from the frozen tundra out there and getting some of the snow shoveled out so we didn't have a lake in here once it started to thaw. Give you guys an overview of the things that I want to tackle. Small things, the hydraulic couplers are the old international style and that would only work on one of our tractors, the 1066. So I want to change that over to Pioneer couplers. Even our uh, 686 that's already converted over that already has um, Pioneer coupler female ends. And then I got to address this door. I believe the, the cog for the wheel mechanism is broke. Fabricate something there, make a little something to work. Once we get the coupler switched over, test the hydraulics, make sure it works. The tires are starting to wear because of a, a bigger problem which I needed to address. So this, this running gear I still think is a nicer running gear of the two, but it's dog tracking really bad because this center pole here is kind of tweaked. Judging by the, the front ladder here, I'm, I'm guessing one of the previous owners, it must've got away on them and, and smashed into something or like the back of a truck or a tractor and must have kind of tweaked everything so hopefully i can get away with just maybe heating and bending that pole or just getting a new it's meant to extend the, the gravity wagon's actual frame the only problem is going to be is i hope that that back triangle isn't tweaked too bad and then once we do that we can get these pockets to actually line up a little nicer in their grooves so that it sits on the wagon a little nicer. That one corner, as you can see, is kind of brought back, but I think part of the reason is that that whole, whole frame is kind of tweaked. So I'm gonna start to whittle away at it and I'll update you guys as I go. So I've been uh, working at uh, getting my hydraulic couplers apart and, and that's something that I found out and I'm super happy about. I thought I was gonna have to buy a whole new uh, fitting but it looks like they're just using adapters to start with, so I shouldn't have to buy anything. There's already uh, Pioneer fittings attached to the line, and then they were just using these. I didn't realize what they were. They were just little adapters to go to International, so these should work. We'll, uh, we'll try them out here pretty soon. I got the one line loose and apart. They were obviously pretty froze together. Now I gotta work on the other one. Another thing. As I pointed out earlier, I want to fix this. So I got a nice little tab made for it. I cut out a small little piece. So I'm going to try to tack that on there the best I can. And that should help the door function a little smoother. It's still going to be loose and not perfect, but at least it won't uh, fall down now when it reaches that cog on the wheel. So that's the next thing I'm going to work on here. So there's what I ended up coming up with. It works. It catches a little nicer now. So main thing, just so it ain't falling back down all the time on us. I'm gonna try bending in this tab here on the back side of the door to maybe help snug all that up. All right, I think I'm done playing around with that door. I think I got that tightened up as much as I, as I care to mess with. Now it's time to see if these hydraulics work. Fingers crossed. So how that works is you're using your hydraulic flow off of your tractor, and that could be your tender tractor or your planning tractor. And then there's a valve up on top here, which will adjust your flow. And it looks like it's all the way one way. So I'm guessing they're using the flow on their tractor to adjust how fast the auger ran. But you could also adjust flow there. It's not a very big hydraulic motor. Hopefully everything's loose enough in there and and she blows out real nice. Another thing too, you know, it's obviously been over a year since the farmer that I purchased it from used it last, and the hoses got, you know, some scrapes in them, cuts in them, so hopefully they hold 
fluid, that's another good reason that we're running this test now while we're working on it. Okay, I got the auger spinning, or at least it, it looks like it from the, the top half, but we aren't get, getting our product to feed on in. So hopefully we just, we're just plugged here at the bottom of the elbow, and that's all that's going on. what you got you might have some stuff froze on the sidewalls in there yet that's, that's, that's a, even on the flighting there might be some stuff froze on so it's not like doesn't have all the capacity it, it could have so so uh since you're here you wanna, you wanna give me and the people some ideas of how to fix our our bend in the center here oh, the bend down to reach so just like we fixed the four-wheeler basket i feel we should hook on here with the chain and then we'd have to tie the box there to something heavy on the other side and pull a little bit. It's just a bend right here. I don't think we want to take all this rusty junk apart just to get that out. I mean the box is pretty rusty from fertilizer and stuff. Yeah and it would save on everything else long term if it lasts. We'll travel down the road better. Well, yeah, we do a few things, so if we ever get into using it, we can just use it. I have a feeling you're going to get away from them totes once you try this out. Yeah, yeah. Like, why do I even mess around with them totes? Well, it could be. The only thing is we got two different kinds of fertilizer, and then we have to uh, see, you know, your planter's really set up nice with the auger across the top. I think that's going to be a real ticket. And then how many, we don't get that many acres. Yeah, if it all flows out of there by itself, but if i got to crawl in there like a rat and shovel it anyway, then I'm kind of partway there with some of that. It's got its place. So when I bought fertilizer, I got all my fertilizer bought here in the fall. You know, they always got a better deal. Get it ahead of time. They can order it in, lock in the price, all that. So he told me buying it bulk versus totes where we buy it, it was the same. I mean, I don't know. They still got to truck it and all that. Unless they get it all in in totes and then they dump it in, you know, into guys' containers that way. I don't know how they... Get I think our fertilizer dealer is pretty small scale anyways, but if we wanted to get a larger bulk load of synthetic fertilizer, now we have that option. Like I said, the price is right. So because like your, because like your brother, he still messes around with bags and you used to do that. Yeah. And that's kind of dying out where people are willing to do that. It costs so much more to mess around Well, with the thing is, is he's handling probably about six, six to eight to maybe 10 ton worth of stuff. And that's the thing. Years ago, everybody was small, so bags had their place, and then you could switch up to different kinds of fertilizer. But I was trying to talk them into taking a couple of those totes, because they really don't, they, they just reuse them again. Sometimes they'll put, uh, they'll come, I think soybeans will come in them sometimes, soybean seed. Yeah, the big seed totes is what Dad's referring to. But anyhow, I was going to give them a few of my after empty and he could just take them to the because he's still buying conventional fertilizer and i don't see why they wouldn't fill them if you had them on your truck or whatever they did put the auger over and fill them up we'll see we'll give it a try see how it works but it doesn't hurt to get it going like i said the price is right and and the other thing is is carson could use this for like rye seed yeah that's a good or, thing I didn't think of. or there's other things like if you wanted to use this like if say if you had another farm you could put ground corn in here temporary corn storage on another i mean farm shelled or corn or you know like i said ground corn for like uh feeders or something you just would be a an easy bend you know there's all kinds of things that's why you don't want to put too much time into it till you kind of figure out where you're really going to make sense using it and then you can always enhance it more if you need to yeah.
got her all chained up. We got a chain going from the skid steer to the main bar in the middle. And then we're gonna chain the, the frame of the wagon to the, the manure spreader as kind of like a, as a weight just to hold it there. Take these bolts out and see if we can slide it. I don't know. Make sure that ain't broke. Well, it certainly looks better than it was, but it's still king song. It's actually pulled too far. I wonder about that. It seems to come so easy. War through that is. It's just some waddling around in there. That really looks war through for for a reach. Get it twist off. There, off. there. That's how you take them off. I always you take a grinder to it after it goes through. We just gotta get the nuts done. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't damage it. Now the other one is, uh, where's that punch? It's laying by you. Stuff, shove it through and yeah, use that to line it up. There. You can't squash them. Yeah, that one can be snugger than this one. We'll get double on there. I think that's tight enough on that one. You got another nut here somewhere? Okay. That went better than I thought. It's relatively straight now. It's better than it was. I think it's going to track a lot better. We got the new bolts in there, which should help. Glad we got that done. That's one, that was one of the main things on this wagon. Other small things, grease, check air in the tires. There's a little board up here I could adjust. They don't have it necessarily square. I could make that a little nicer. So they can fit more product in there. Otherwise, I think we're about wrapped up till we actually start filling it with stuff. Because when it comes to leaks, you know, you could spend all day patching small holes here and there. And you don't really know until you start putting actual product in there. Tidy it up with some of them small things. And then uh, we'll throw it outside. So let's get to greasing. And then I'll move on to working on that, that wood up there. in the front end I figured we might as well go around and check all the hubs just because I'll check over the other ones make sure they're spinning nice and smooth that way we don't have a surprise most gravity wagons you don't have a problem because they're not going down the road very often but you know a little fertilizer tender like this you don't know where that guy was going with his planter you know how far he was traveling another thing I wanted to let you guys know um, I don't know how much it might uh, matter to you guys but I passed my commercial pesticide applicator test along with my uh, seed treatment test. Uh, I took it about a month ago and I've been waiting for the results in the mail and you know how the government is. It took forever. So I'm super happy to have that weight lifted off my shoulders. It finally came in the mail. Super excited. If you guys uh, have ever had to take the Wisconsin commercial pesticide applicator test and I'm assuming a lot of states are probably very similar where it's uh, it's like any other state test. I'm super grateful I passed it right away. So if you know, you know that it's, uh, it's a bear to mess around with that stuff. But thought I'd let you guys know because it's something I'm super happy about. It's a lot of stress lifted off my shoulders. I don't have to worry about getting that now. It should be good for another five years now. So, but yeah, getting back to work here. I'm gonna check all of my wheels, make sure we're good there, check air, 
and then we'll move on to that uh, that wood up on top there. call that project wrapped up I think I got it as far along as I'd like to before spring it's a little more usable now we don't want to stick a bunch of time or money into it if we don't even really have an intended task for it we just made the, the nicer the two gravity wagons a little better that other gravity wagon that's for sale uh, if I can't get anybody to give me a half decent price on it we'll probably just scrap the box and the auger and then use the running gear around here. That's about the only thing that's worth anything on that. That's a John Deere running gear. And the tires are all pretty decent yet. Leave comments down below what type of fertilizer system you guys think is superior. You know, every new planter is coming out with liquid, but I've known of guys that have put custom dry fertilizer boxes on their big brand new planters. Just share your opinion with us down in the comments. But we're gonna end off the video here. Thanks for sticking around to the end. It was a nice winter day here in the shop and uh, happy we got a little something done. I feel a lot better about using it this spring and giving it a try. So make sure to check out our other videos if you haven't already. Also make sure to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. We'll see you next time.